everyone. Thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. I am going to be doing the question and answer that I posted about a week or so ago. I wanted you guys to ask me some questions. If you guys had anything that you wanted to know about us or my kids or our family or how we do things. So I have um, a lot of stuff listed here on my paper about a couple people that responded and had some questions. Two people that had pretty much the same um, question so I'll kind of go over a lot of that with you. I didn't tie my kids in to this today but I can do another video with my kids in it and I will introduce you to them. I don't remember what video it was it was like a while ago and I kind of went around the house and I kind of just said this is Gage or whatever but maybe I'll like um, sit down with you guys and kind of just show you who is who and then ask them questions and do a little question and answer with them. So we're gonna get started right away um, because I have a lot here that I wanna cover because a lot of this can be kind of cut down into different things. So I have one person on Instagram that asked me a question and then um, I had other people on my YouTube channel that uh, asked me questions also. Okay, so Big Family Life on Instagram asked me or also um, was stating that she has so many children too and she goes through a lot of stuff where um, with planning meals and having problems with a lot of that and um, was just wondering how I go about with meal planning, budgeting, um, like what are our best meal picks and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go through a lot of that with you and it was kind of funny because I responded to her right away and I was like, I almost wanted to answer right away and tell her uh, a lot of what I don't do. Um, so it's kind of funny because I am not very good in this department. So when she watches this, she'll see that she's not the only one that goes through a lot of this stuff. So I'm gonna start kind of from the beginning. When I met my husband, I kind of just laid it out there and I said, you know what? I'll clean and I'll do the stuff, you know, like take care of the kids and do the best I can that way because I don't mind doing that. I used to do housekeeping and stuff like that for uh, in many years ago and I don't mind cleaning and stuff. But um, after cooking, I am the youngest out of seven. So at the end, I kind of was just like, you know, we just ate like TV dinners and stuff. But my mom made like meals um, when a lot of us were at home. So she made really good meals. But then when it was just me and my brother, it wasn't, kind of necessary to make huge meals for us. So for us, we were able to just kind of eat smaller stuff. So I'm gonna start out with the first things first. So what is our monthly budget? So for our monthly budget for food is around, we go through a lot of milk. So we go through like two gallons or so of milk a day. Uh, we have cereal or coffee and stuff like that. So we go through a lot just because of that with milk. But as for our budget, we go through about 12 to $1,300 a month. If I were to be better with meal planning, uh, I would probably be able to save a little bit more money. But you guys have, if you guys have been watching, I do the Walmart pickup orders and that helps me keep a budget because I'm able to see already what I'm going to purchase as in, or if I were to go to Walmart and I don't know what my total exactly is until I get to the register. So I like doing the Walmart pickup because that helps me uh, kind of keep a view of what I'm going to be spending. Now, um, so that's pretty much it for our monthly budget. And then if you also have watched my grocery hauls, you kind of know that I do my grocery shopping in the beginning of the month and then one grocery like haul at the end of the month. And then in between, we kind of pick up as we need. All right, so for meal planning, we recently, um, it was like a Sunday night or whatever. I said, okay, kids, let's sit down and let's uh, do meal planning. And we set out 
like a plan for that week what we wanted to have so breakfast is really easy for us because a lot of times we have waffles cereal eggs bacon toast fruit uh and stuff like that so for us breakfast is really really easy um but as for lunch it seems like oh lunch is there and we don't have a plan so i do have a 15 year old in the house that loves cooking and he pretty much kind of took over that role as in keeping that going so he is, that is part of his chore actually and i kind of talked to him about it a little bit too because he kind of knows that i really don't enjoy cooking and he wants to do it and i always tease him I'm like how do you enjoy it you know and he just does so he can keep that job i don't know i'll even pay him extra i always choose i'll give you five dollars every lunch or whatever i don't know i'm just kidding but so that's what he wants to do probably when he like either gets his first job is do some kind of food job um so that helps me out um and i know there's another question when it comes to the kids and stuff but i'll get to that pretty soon but as for meal planning, we did sit down and that really helped our week because we didn't have to think then. And we were able to just be like, okay, Tuesday, we know exactly what we're gonna make. I had the meal ready and Gage was ready. And that night, we, you know, we had our meal. Now, Monday night is the only night that I work at nighttime. So I work Monday night at from like five to eight. And I've been doing this job for 15 years and I also work on Saturdays from eight to one. So the days that, the nights that I'm at work, so just the Monday night, I do have a meal planned and I usually do because when Lauren gets home, then he doesn't have to worry about getting a meal ready. Um, so I've been trying to do really good with that, but as for the other nights, we either throw a roast in. We do a lot of like different things um, for night meals, but I'll go over that in a minute. Um, but I do want to get better and my son just came to me the other day and he's like, mom, can we start doing the meal planning again? And so we need to really do that because, or he can kind of take over and just do it himself. And then he can just give me the stuff that he wants me to purchase for him. So, well, I might end up doing that. I don't know, but we really need to get on that because I am not very good with that. As for like, what meals do we plan? So one of the things was, um, what is our best meal picks? Now, I'm not a very big, I'm not picky when it comes to food, but I don't like spaghetti and I don't like lasagna. That's the one thing that I don't like and everybody else in the house likes it. I eat a little bit different than everybody else in the house. I'm more where I can have uh, like a snack or something versus a full meal. And they, uh, so some nights that I know that I'm not gonna be home or like Monday night or whatever, I would do the spaghetti and lasagna so then I wouldn't eat it anyways. Um, but our main meal, like during the day, like when we're schooling and stuff, we would have tacos, that one seems to be a good one. Pizza is another one, quesadillas we do, hot dogs, macaroni, um, cheese wraps, chicken cheese wraps, um, I know my kids really like Nutella. I say this in my grocery haul too. Wraps with Nutella and bananas on it. You roll it up and then you cut them in pieces. My kids like that too. Um, yogurt is always a big one in our family. And then waffles for breakfast is uh, another big thing. That's kind of like our main picks that we would have. If, if we were to splurge, then we would have like salmon or something in the air fryer. So that's kind of like a like, you know, we don't do that very often, but that's something that we do randomly. So as for go-to meals, I would have to say the kids really like the spaghetti um, and Gage is really good at making hamburgers. So we do that once in a while. And then the other question was, do I allow my kids to cook or help cook? Now let's talk about who cooks and if I allow them to help me. So the kids that cook in my house are Miles. He's nine. Um, Hudson will do a little bit of stuff and he's 11. Eli will do a little bit of stuff and he's 13 and then Gage is 15 and he does most of it. Now, Nash and Lachlan are five and they do their own breakfast if um, I'm not able to get to them. They're very um, independent. So they like to do a lot of stuff on their own and they like to be able to do that anyways. So I'm like, okay, 
that kind of helps me out anyways i got other people and other things to take care of so if they want to cook their own breakfast and it's easy um they just get all fruit or cereal or toast and they do their own waffles and stuff like that so i don't mind that but as for cooking you know i never have been really good with my kids in the cook, cooking with me in the kitchen now i am going to be doing the crock pot meals with my kids and that's gonna be fun for them. But a lot of times I have been getting better and better with having them in the kitchen and helping. But if we're in a hurry and it's a rush, rush meal, then I don't let them help me. Or if it's meat or raw meat or something like that, then I don't let them help me. But otherwise, um, every once in a while they can help if they want to. So, but it's more independent cooking than I think it is actually helping. A lot of my kids are very independent and like to do a lot of that anyways on their own. Okay, so she also asked um about cooking and do i you know she, with her not really enjoying it and stuff and like i said i don't really enjoy cooking that is not my thing i do a lot of crafts i do a lot of sewing i do a lot of crocheting i do crocheting for my kids like hats i do blankets um i do a lot of painting and stuff in the kids bedroom and i'm more that through the house so i do you know like the laundry, keeping up with the housework and doing all of that versus me cooking. And I'll cook, it, you know, sometimes my husband will be like, hey, can you make quesadillas or, or uh, enchiladas? And then, so I'll do that. Or, hey, can you make meatloaf this night? And I can do that. I just don't have the imagination or desire to look up meals because I like doing other things. I know it's my responsibility and I don't mind doing it, but I just don't have the creativity like most people do when it comes to cooking. So that really isn't my thing. Now I know that I do a lot of air fryer videos and that's fun for me because they're quick and easy meals. So that is a good one. And then as for cleaning up and stuff, I don't mind cleaning. So when I cook, I cook and clean. I As, as I go and I teach my kids that, so anytime they take out something, they have to put it away. If they wanna cook by themselves, they have to put it away. So we cook and clean, um, and that's how I like it because then we don't have to come back later and clean it up. I like, even after lunches and meals, I would prefer that to get done. Now, we don't do dishes a lot at nighttime, but we do it in the morning because we do all our chores in the morning. I won't get into chores right now, but if you guys want another one, uh, another video on chores, we will do a whole chore video and that would be a lot of fun to do with you guys. We did that last year, but we also tied it in with our homeschool day. So we'll just uh, figure that out another time. Cooking with kids and have like stomach issues and stuff like that. I'm gonna kind of back up a little bit. When my son Hassan was one, we had a garlic allergy with him and he couldn't have garlic at all. So any soups, pastas, anything. So we had to figure out what he could have and what he couldn't have, that was at the time, and peanut butter. So he still has the peanut butter issue, but um, he doesn't have the garlic anymore. Now, my older son that is 24, he had stomach issues when he lived here and we had to watch like greasy foods or sodas or anything like that, he couldn't have that. Now he's doing a little bit better. Um, then Miles, my nine-year-old, he can't have a lot of sugar. He can't have, um, it gets him really sick. He can't have milk. So he, he can have cheese and stuff like that and yogurt, but he has to watch how much sugar and everything is in it. Otherwise, um, his stomach is just really bad and yucky. Um, we brought him in and had everything tested and we can't really figure it out. So we're thinking irritable bowel and dairy. Um, so we try to keep it, uh, pretty clean with him he loves salads he likes plain salads he doesn't even add dressing half the time so he's really good when it comes to like vegetables and stuff like that for his meals um he will eat like chicken wraps with hot sauce he'll eat popcorn with hot sauce and he has no problems which is weird because you would think with irritable bowel you would have that kind of issue um, but he doesn't so it's just mainly sugars and milk and stuff like that So if you guys have any knowledge on that other than what I'm getting from the doctor uh, Leave them in the comments down below. I would be more than happy to Hear um, we did do a lot of like the celiac stuff. We did gluten. We did all that so and he's not really having problems as in a gluten allergy so 
I'm not really sure, but we're still keeping up with that and figuring that out. So she just had a question on if I had any kids that had issues like that. Okay, so I covered a lot of that. I do have another lady. I'm just looking over my notes right now. So um, I had another lady, her name is Chrissy. She wanted to know what my monthly meal plan was and grocery budget. So I kind of told you we don't really do a monthly plan and we don't do, well, our budget is like 12 to $1,300 a month. Okay. So as for the meal planning though, we kind of buy the same thing every single month. So like our pizzas, our yogurts, our uh, cereals, our fries, our chicken, you know, like our roast, um, hot dogs, macaroni, um, fruits, vegetables, sandwich meat. I mean, we have like a regular. If you guys want me to do a separate video, I know we don't do a lot of meal planning, but we do have like things that we like to tie in on a monthly and I can do a video on that, like just sit with you guys and kind of talk about what we actually eat. Um, I know in my grocery hauls, you kind of see what we eat, but I can kind of break it down a little bit better for you guys. All right, so another lady um, had a question about our crock pot meals. I am gonna be doing them on Sunday, maybe once a month. Um, just because I have so many other videos that I want to get out for you guys and doing crock pot meals is just something I'm just going to do randomly on Sundays and my kids are going to be in them videos and they are going to be helping me. I'm going to try to keep my air fryer videos kinless. They might be at the end wanting to try my, the food and stuff like that but otherwise I want to be able to share them air fryer videos with you and not have to worry about my kids being in the background. So I'm going to try to get better with that but I've been trying to keep them out of my air fryer videos but my crock pot meals they are going to be in um and i had another lady uh dana i think her name is hopefully i'm saying that right um she also might have more questions for me later i know i'm kind of doing this ahead of time and she maybe wasn't able to get to me but that's okay she can ask me more questions and i'll come back on and do another one but um, she wanted me to do a home tour. So I'm not sure what video is gonna go out first, if it's gonna be this one. I'm gonna try to get this one out first. But you also will see a home tour of what it looks like outside. If you guys saw my summer videos, you'll see a lot of that more in the summer. You guys saw my turkeys, my goats, and our chickens, and all that outside, the kids outside. Um, that's nice when it gets nice out and we can really share that with you guys. But in the winter, it's kind of like, uh but I maybe do another video um, with our animals soon or whatever. But because uh, a lot of times it's just hard. Or maybe I could show you like our night routine or something. If you guys are interested in that, let me know. Like our morning routine or a night routine. That would be fun. It's crazy. Just to let you go. No. So I'm giving you a little heads up right now. Like not everything is like smooth sailing or anything like that. But we can share a lot of that with you guys. Um, and I don't do regular daily vlogs or anything. I don't have time to edit videos that many times and keep up with the family. And I would love to though, but our days just seem so crazy and chaotic that I don't know how to tie that in yet. But maybe when we're a little bit better with keeping things going, I can share more regular daily videos with you. Um, we don't always have like the most interesting daily things because we're homeschooling, we're home a lot and we're just doing chores in our regular lifestyle. But I love sharing with you guys all the fun stuff we do. So hopefully you guys like that. And like I said, just leave me any comments down below and I will be more than happy to answer that. So, but as for the home tour, I'm gonna try to get that out for you guys pretty soon. And hopefully that's a fun video for you guys because I still have other videos that I need to get out for you guys. Like my kids finished bedroom, that will be out pretty soon. We still have to get some stuff for that, but that'll be out. Um, hopefully you guys don't mind that I'm rambling on, but I want to be able to answer like everything in this video as much as possible. So you guys have a little insight of like what's going to come or what we do, um, for our, you know, like our meals and our stuff like that. So, um, another thing is how do I manage our meals? Like, do we do quick fixes? Do we do box? Do we do cans? And how do I manage it all? So, um, we, the only thing that we do kind of, I used to do box like 
when I just had my two older kids, I just did box. Like I did hamburger helper and all that kind of stuff. I just did that. Um, then when I got married, I started to venture out and actually do a real food. But I do macaroni. We do like, I'm trying to think of what else. I mean, we do a lot of canned stuff, but I'm trying to think of what, you know, like our waffles are boxed potatoes sometimes otherwise I'll make them homemade um I don't I mean we don't eat like a hundred percent the best because I don't care if my kids have candy and treats and stuff not all day long but we do that we're not like a super healthy like I don't know we we do our best to eat and um my kids have like you know chips and soda every once in a while I was kind of just raised that way too and that's just how I am and that's kind of how my husband is so we're comfortable with doing that but I do have kids that love fruit and rather have fruit than anything else so if we can put a lot of fruit and stuff on the table I'd rather do that but we um I'm not really picky when it comes to a lot of stuff. Now, if it doesn't, if it bothers my kids, then we have to change their diet, and I'm totally okay with that. Um, but we do, for as for like a quick fix meal, um, I think spaghetti would probably be our most quickest fix. Tacos, um, what else? Randomly, we'll do crackers and cheese and sausage. My kids really like that. That's like a quick fix, and that's okay. Um, fruit added with that or yogurt um, or oh uh, you know what another thing that we do and we have chickens here so eggs are always like on hand we always do eggs my kids like eggs so that's another quick fix um, pancakes is another quick fix so we kind of keep everything pretty simple I know my kids are really getting bored of our regular stuff and my son wants to kind of venture on and do more stuff and we can do that too, um, but I need to get on Pinterest or he needs to get on Pinterest and we can kind of venture on and do more exciting things. So, but I gotta get going. I have some other stuff that I gotta get uh, done today. So I'm just gonna let that be that for now. Um, hopefully you guys liked today's video. Hopefully I answered everything. Let me know in the comments down below if I miss anything or you guys wanna know more. So don't forget to give me a big thumbs up though and don't forget to subscribe because we are going to be happy and so much more stuff soon as spring hits we have a lot of stuff that we do in spring because we get outside we do more gardening and different stuff um, we have a lot of plans for different things if it ends up working out we have some ideas that we want to plan for spring or this summer but I'm not sure we'll see um, but otherwise don't forget to give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one Thank mm -hmm. you.